So hello and welcome back. So in this video we are doing another example taken from the Khan Academy and the question is on the first day of on the first day of spring an entire field of flowering trees blossoms. The population of locusts consuming these flowers rapidly increases as the trees blossom so it's about the population of locusts uh, of locusts uh, being in, basically increasing the relationship between the, the elapsed time t in days so t is in days time t in days why is it like this in days since the beginning of spring and the total number of locusts and the name of the function is basically the um, the way the function has been called has been named is is n of day of t is modeled by the following function so n of day of t is equal to 300 times 1.2 raised to the power t now the question that, they, that we need to answer here is that is each week so e every week it's not it's not uh, day anymore it is week each every week the number of locusts grows by a factor of what so in order to solve this problem so first we need to take a look at our the relationship between n of day of t so basically this day has been added here to uh, remind us of the fact that this function this this function has an output that corresponds to inputs of t having the unit day not week so basically we we are so if basically this question can only be answered if i could only be answered if we had some relationship of the type n of week for example of t or something like that now this relationship tells me that so basically um The, when we started this uh, this study, the t the number of locusts w was basically three hundred, and then with every day passing by, with every day passing by, you are increasing the number of locusts by twenty percent because it's multiplied by one point two. When you multiply anything by one point two, you are increasing it by 20% if you were to well we don't need to talk about decreasing here that's not the that's not the point here but the point here is that whenever you multiply anything but by 1.2 you're increasing it by 20% when if you were multiplying by 1.3 works for example then you would be increasing it by 30% if you were <clears throat> let me write it down here so for example if x is multiplied by 1.2 it is increasing by increasing by increasing x by 20 percent if it was x times 1.3 for example then you were increasing then you were increasing x by 30 percent if you were multiplying x by 1.1.03 1 so then you would be increasing you would be increasing x by not 30 percent but 3 percent and so on and so forth so 
So basically this function tells me that every day we are increasing the number of locusts by 20%. And the and what, what I want to know here is that every week the number of locusts grows by a factor of what? So the factor here is 1.2. Now I need to find the factor. I need to find the factor that corresponds to weeks, not days. So let's see how we can how we can solve this problem. Okay, so how what you need to do here is very simple actually. So I don't know what happened to my eraser. What you can do is very simple and very interesting so basically now you have n of day of t which is basically this function now you know that there are basically seven days in a week and i want to know what what happens every week so i have to create a function that gives me the output related to a week rather than the outputs related to a day when I when I input t here. So using the same function I have here n of day of t which is equal to 300 times 1.2 raised to the power t. Now since there are uh, seven days in a week so when you input one here, your function takes one here and then it based on this uh, factor gives you some sort of output, does some sort of um, multiplication on this 300 and this number and then gives you some sort of output. Based on this function you can construct another function n a week of t which would be equal to 300 times 1.2 raised to the power 7t because um, because every day every one day corresponds to uh, let me see if i input here one one day it it's 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 uh, it's uh, if I input here one day, it's supposed to to here it's supposed to become seven days, which is one week. So this works for us. So you multiply, you simply multiply your 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 input or your variable by seven, and then you're you're in effect you're just um, squeezing your function horizontally. So basically the days are not important to you anymore you're squeezing in your folk you're focusing in so that you can see more of that function in 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 a single plot so then based on this this is the function that you that, that you have but again you now you cannot call this 1.2 the factor that is every time being multiplied by the function every time you increase your t because it's it's something that you need to understand here so if i have a table here based on this function based on this function so this ta this table basically tells me takes t from me and it gives me n a week of t so if now for example let's say that my t is equal to zero then zero goes here this becomes zero and this whole term becomes one because it is 1.2 raised to the zeroth power so this becomes one and then my output becomes 300. if my output is one if my output is one um what happens here is that my the one the one that i input here goes here becomes seven seven into one which is seven and then what that leads to is that this 300 
this 300 is multiplied by seven factors of 1.2 so it becomes 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2 and so on and so forth basically seven factors but that is not what I'm interested in what I'm interested in is that basically something like this something like this function over here so this function basically I can call this a a common ratio if every time that I that I increase my t here exactly one factor of this 1.2 is multiplied by the function and this happens here for example here you can see that here I have t and n of d n of d of t and so if my t is equal to 0 my output is 300 if my input is 1 incrementing by 1 my output is multiplied by only one factor of 1.2 so i want to do something i want to do something like this in this function so i can take this function use the properties of exponential functions and make a make another function using this function exactly the same function i'm just changing it so n a week n a week of t becomes 300 but now i can rewrite this as 1.2 raised to the power 7 whole raised to the power t because a raised to the power b times c can be written as 8 raised to the power b whole raised to the power c using this property of exponential functions i can rewrite this as 1.2 raised to the power 7 which becomes some number raised to the power t and now again i have t alone as the index now 1.2 raised to the power 7 is is what well basically rounded to three decimal places this becomes 300 times uh, 3.583 3.583 3 raised to the power t so and this is n of week of t and so now this becomes my common ratio so now every week if i if i enter my if i enter t as one for example one factor of 3.53 uh, one factor of 3.583 is multiplied by the output of the function and this, and this sort of change is taking place every week <clears throat> if I make it two weeks then two factors of 3.583 is multiplied by the function and so on and so forth every time I'm incrementing my t so basically now we can go back to our question here so every week the number of locusts grows by a factor of uh, 3.583 and that is your answer here so that means every week the number of locusts is growing 3.583 times larger now you can of course um, express this exp express that in terms of percent for example i don't know 300 percent or 400 percent or 200 percent or something like that but basically this is the factor the common ratio of the of the new function that we made based on the based on the old function thank you